You join me today as we sort of take a throwback to when this channel was launched nearly two years ago under the name of Davy Mini Boy. So today we are looking at a Mini. The new Mini concept was designed by Frank Stevenson and was unveiled at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 1997 by Rover to replace the classic Mini designed by Sir Alex Izagonis and the Aging Metro in 100 series. The Mini Hatch was the first model launched under the Mini All in Capitals mark under BMW ownership and early examples, press cars and Y-plate registered cars may carry some Rover branding. The Mini is produced at Cowley in Oxford and since July 2014 at the VDL Nedcar plant, formerly Volvo and DAF plant, in the Netherlands. The Mini Cabrio since 2015 is only produced at the Nedcar plant. The model we are looking at today is a 2017 third gen F series or F55 that belongs to my friends so let's have a walk around. This F55 here we have is a Moonwalk Grey Cooper S and it is nicely complemented with the black roof, the black mirror cappings and all the chrome touches from the door handles to the chrome fuel cap. The 10 spoke 17 inch alloys fill the arches really well. Walking around to the front you are met with a honeycomb grill and scoop which is a fake example of a scoop but it's more for style and one thing Callum done on this car was add the stripes and the eye-catching Leroy Esmos Vive Leroy Enigma album graphic which you can see here and breaking up the grill is a red stripe like JCW effect and red accents around the fog lamps and daytime running lights Callum's also added the Cooper S stripes so when he got this car it just looked plain and what a Mini really needs is a set of stripes. So as you can see here, the Moonwalk Grey really works well with the black um, wheel arches and the black trim down the bottom of the car and the black mirror cappings and the black roof and just a sort of black panel. And as I said, the, the chrome touches on this really break up the car really makes it stand out especially around the rear end where you have the diffuser and um, spoiler and the twin exhaust system and it's actually good to see a mini that's not got a JCW exhaust system or a now the butt of the joke on the mini is a lot of people say call it the mini mini maxi now because it's a huge, it's a big car nowadays so Callum's got this sticker here which says it's a Mini, it's not a Mini, it's a Maxi so under the bonnet which isn't really very inspiring it's just a mass of black plastic is a 2 litre twin turbo, twin power turbo BMW engine this series of Mini is the first Mini series to feature BMW engines the first engines, the Tritons, in the first generation Minis were basically Chrysler units and in the R50, in the R series Mini were either Peugeot or were either Peugeot petrols or Peugeot diesels so this power plant here produces 189 brake horsepower and 206 newton meters of torque it hits 0 to 60 in 7 seconds and it goes on to a top speed of 146 mile an hour. It's got a combined fuel consumption of 42.8 miles to the gallon. And road tax in its first year is £210 and then a reasonable £145 a year thereafter. Now take into mind that I have a family car which is a 1 litre Skoda. Callum is only paying £5 more a year than what I would pay on a 1 litre Skoda. I'm paying £140 on a 1 litre Skoda.
And one interesting fact about this engine is there's no dipstick to check for your oil. It's all done on the Mini's computer system. So let's just show you a few e things uh, if you're looking to look after the car. Screen wash is down here. If you're looking for the battery, the battery is here. And if you're looking to top up your vehicle's coolant, it is here. This is the factory air box. And everything else is under that big black plastic cover. So, let's go and have a look inside the vehicle. So, getting in, so as we get into the Mini, you're greeted with the Chrome Mini Cooper S kick plate. Onto the door here, we've got finished in piano black trim. There's the door and unlock system, uh, door handle and unlock system. You've got your electric windows and mirror adjustment down here. Then you're met with the familiar um, dinner plate st effect, where the speedo would have been in earlier minis, but it's now encompassing the infotainment system because Mini have now moved the speedometer and the rev counter just in front of the driver, as you can see. And it's nice, clear, concise dials. You've got your wipers on the right. Wipers go up like so. It's an auto wipers there. It's got automatic headlights down here. And your fog lights down there as well. Just these tiny wee buttons. Quite nice to touch. And your display brightness here. If there's an issue with your key, the car it's got it's got a push button start, but if there's a, an issue with your um uh, push start, you can access the panel here, I'm guessing the key in. We're in the middle of a car meet at the moment so we'll have a look at that. Look at that Jagger going across there, that's beautiful. Then we've got a Clio, GT86 and an MX-5. So as I said in, in earlier minis you would have had the speedometer here but this has now got the infotainment system on it which I believe is a MP3 and USB compatible. You've got this lovely sort of carbon fibre effect um, piano, finished on sort of piano black little trim piece. In earlier minutes sometimes there'd be a secret glove box in here. And you've got the, you've got the familiar style mini vents and toggle switches which feature in, in all the minis even from the earlier ones from the, the classic minis to the first generation minis so you you are greeted in in the mini that's a, it's still a familiar as a mini and you've got these gorgeous um half leather seats you've got fabric here fabric around the bolsters you've got leather here over here and they look really comfy as well. It's a six speed manual box. And down here is the from is a start button here. You got to the left here is where you turn your stop start off, traction control, and on this one, on this Cooper S you have the mini driving modes. I believe some Cooper S models don't have it or it's an optional extra. So I'm not sure what pack that you get that on. You've got your heating and ventilation controls here. Right, I'm going to see if the mini will wink at me as I open this door. Watch this. Mm. Nope, doesn't like me. Oh, no, hold on. The wee mini goes away. No. 
And we've got, as I said, we've got your heating and ventilation controls here. This, this adjusts your, I think this one adjusts your temperature. This one adjusts the heat. Um, we're having issues with the uh, remote key today, so we'll try and I won't be able to go into detail on that today. So, sort of equipment levels you get in this mini is, as I mentioned, you've got the 17 inch alloys, they're actually called the Cosmos alloys, and you'll, you can find it, you'll get these in um, uh, powder coated black, or you'll get them in silver. Callum's got them in silver. As I mentioned, this mini has got piano black trim. It's a lovely little touch. It's not got a front armrest. Some minis get the front armrest down here, in between the driver and passenger seat. Um, you've not got heated, you, you do get a heated seats in this mini, but not in this model. Um, it's not been specced. You do get, as I mentioned, the seats are very comfy and are nice comfy sports seats. You get um, cruise control. Um, some models you get um, sort of black headlining. Um, we'll come out with car. So we're back outside the car now, and as you can see, see we've got. So, as I mentioned, you can see the LED fog lights, um, daytime running lights, headlights as well. They're really, really bright. Round the back on the Mini, you have the parking sensors. Now, I'm not sure why there's little like rust marks on them. It's a bit strange. If you know if your Mini's like this as well, you can maybe let us know. We've managed to get the remote working. Don't know what was wrong with it. Cars and technology nowadays that don't go well with me. But we've got the infotainment system up, so presently we've got the onboard computer telling you what the fuel consumption is, how many miles is left in the tank, and 34 points is quite reasonable, I would say. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, this is just basically your vehicle information, your multimedia. It's got USB, AUX, Apple. I'm not sure if it's compatible with Apple CarPlay. Uh, you've got your tire pressure monitoring and you when I mentioned about the engine oil you had that in that option there um, that will tell you how how your oil is doing so, so everything looks okay there so there but you've got your multimedia you've got your radio it's got DAB which is quite good because we're moving into this current generation where it's all DAB it's uh, got your telephone menu there Mini services, I'm not sure if this is like your Mini Connect system. And that's just your settings on there. So it's quite a nice, simple, simple and chunky button system to use. Um, and we're back down to the heating controls again. Now let's go through them again. Now we've got the remote working. We've got your temperature here. And as you do that as well, it's actually quite smart. Change that. As I'm changing the temperature, the ring around the dial goes changes colour. So you got blue here for cold, red here for hot. Now it's changed colour again. This is like your auto system here. Um, down down to the feet here. Fan speed. And again, the ring around the middle changes. And on this side is the driver's side. So the driver's got hot at the minute. And if you had an auto, I'm on cold, the driver's got warm air. We're going to show you the mini driving mode. So, in this mode, you've got... Oh. Right, stop running out, so I can... This is your mini, mid mode, which is your m typical driving mode. We're now in green mode, where we, the, rain, the, the ring around the... The dinner plate style infotainment system changes to green and then changes in back to orange. We're back in the mid mode and here we go. We're now in sport mode which is maximum go-kart fuel. Which in a mini you will always know it drives like a go-kart. So what is a mini like to drive? 
Oh, I could sum it up in a few phrases. Minis are fun. They are go-kart-like. And corners are its best friends. Even a lowly powered Mini can be a joy to drive. In some cases, power less is more. So, I asked Callum earlier a few questions about the Mini. So the first question I asked Callum about the Mini was, why did he buy a Mini? Simple answer is, Callum um, had a daily car before and a fun car. And he basically wanted to combine the two. So a couple of years ago, he, he went and traded both his daily car and his sort of weekend toy in for a car that combined the both best world, uh, both the best worlds and cars. Little hot hatches nowadays, they can basically, they combine the best of both. You get greater fuel economy and you can still have fun at the weekend if you want to go for a, a drive somewhere. So the next question I asked Callum was, what do you enjoy the most about the Mini? The simple answer is sport mode. Yeah. <laughs> because it, it does transform the Cooper S. And I, as I mentioned in the video, I believe this was an optional extra on the Cooper S. Um, Callum at the time couldn't afford like a, a JCW model. Um, but that's one of his plans in the, in the future is to, is to upgrade to like a JCW or maybe a GP, you just never know. I asked Callum if there was any dislikes he had on the, on the Mini. And the only thing that Callum said to me is that there's too many things to go wrong, like keyless, keyless entry, as, of, as you see the day where we're having problems trying to get the remote to talk to the car. Um, it's not a car. It's not a car you can work on if you're not clued up. It's got. Um, it's, it's one of these ones you've got to take to the garage, and they'll diagnose any problems. So, my final question to Callum was: Is he? Are you going to plan to do any more things to the mini? And I think the only thing that Callum was planning on doing to the mini at this time is to powder coat the alloys black because um, you do see them on you just get these powder coated bl uh, black alloys on the F55 um, on the Cooper S model and they do look quite smart um, and I think it would really go well with the the black trim, the black roof and it'll, I think it will go really well with the moonwalk grey as well so that's just a quick walk around review um, of the Mini F55. Um, I still like the Minis and one day I will get another one. But I would just like to thank you for watching the channel, watching this video, watching the channel and I shall catch you in a future video but please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel um, get onto our Facebook page at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and our Instagram page Scottish Car Enthusiasts um, but it's been a joy to get back and have a look at a mini been meaning to do this one for a while now and hope you enjoy the video and I shall catch you in a future video Farewell.